Yo, Ben from Flat Dog here. Let's have a look at the Howling Moon Solar Eclipse rooftop tent. It's a hybrid rooftop tent. We're going to show you how it opens, all the features and how it fits. Let's get to it. So let's take a look at opening up the Halo Moon Solar Eclipse rooftop tent. First thing to open, the YKK zip around the cover. So it's zipped around three sides, this side, the front and the far side. And you leave the cover fixed in place, which saves a bit of time opening the tent up. So now we've got the zip open. We've got the small plastic clip that we undo and the tent just pops on up. So you see we've got the elastic that's holding the canvas in, that's good for when it's packed back together. So this is why it's a hybrid tent. You've got the soft shell canvas, you've got a PVC bag on the outside, you've got the solid base, the cover stays on, and you still have to manually open half of the tent. Let undo the elastic strap. And there's the tent open back up. So it's that simple. We've got the ladder stored inside. So we'll show you how to put the ladder on now. So we've got the ladder now out of the tent. We're going to open it up, pop it into place, go inside, show you the mattress. Quick little tip. Quick little tip on the ladder pegs. If you just lock them into place before you slide it out, when you open out, it'll catch into the holes that are pre-drilled into the ladder. The reverse is a pull and twist, and that frees them. So they just simply hook back, and pop into place on the tent as so. Clip into place. We've already sorted out. So they can't slide out, and we go from there. Can get an optional ladder extension. Obviously, we're on quite rough ground here, uh, nothing's level, but there you go. Um, so, we're just going to pop into the tent and show you the mattress now. So, now we're at the entrance of the Harley Moon Solar Eclipse rooftop tent. As you can see, we've got to fold out this half of the 80mm high density mattress, very comfortable. And you can also see the new specification of base that Howling Moon produced for the whole rooftop tent range. So the inner is a closed cell polyurethane foam sheet, uh, great thermal retention properties and also very good for reducing the condensation that you traditionally get inside the rooftop tents. That's sandwiched between two 1.6mm Wovex sheets, so the top, then you've got the polyurethane inner and then you've obviously got the bottom sheet as well. Very sturdy, very strong, and a great improvement on the traditional tent bases that you see. No wood is used in the construction now of the bases, so there's no water retention. So that's a fantastic plus. Right, let's open the mattress and have a look inside the tent. So a couple of things that you notice straight away, we've got great options for storage, some nice heavy duty mesh pockets there that you can store in. And you can also see the internal RAM, which aids in opening and closing of the rooftop tent. There's plenty of ventilation with a roof, stargazing option of the window and your side windows. So as you can see, we can open that fully from there. You can also open for extra ventilation with the mosquito netting. 
can tie that up if you so wish. It's got the Harley Moon branded webbing on the inside. And obviously the entrance. So, one of the great features about the Howling Moon Solar Eclipse Rooftop Tent, it's very airy, roomy, takes many of the Stargazer features, well, from the Stargazer traditional rooftop tent. You can undo the side windows fully, so the panels come out, so they've got a nice heavy duty build through top. So you can take it out. got that feature from both side panels and also the roof. Uh, with the roof that obviously just folds back, it doesn't need to come out. So you can stargaze. So let's pack away the rooftop tent. First of all, removal of the ladder. Now once this is folded and popped in the bag, you can store it inside the tent or inside the vehicle. Just for now, I'll pop it to one side. After that, we're going to fold the base over into itself. So just be careful not to catch any of the side canvas here. Nice and easy to do there. And at this point, I've quickly realised, packing it away, that I forgot to put the strap over the top. So. Elastic going all the way around. That simply clicks into a loop. A nice little tip for the elastic is just to pop it a little bit higher on the canvas. It just holds everything in nice and tight. And from there, we can pull down the top of the tent with the strap that we popped back into place earlier on. Once we've got the top pulled down, it's popping the clip and the strap back together. So at this point, I just wasn't quite tall enough to get enough force just to close the strap properly so I have a couple of goes really if you want to pop on top of the rooftop tent it makes the whole process a lot easier now at this stage a little maintenance tip would be to get hold of some silicon zip lube it does make closing the zip nice and easy so all we need to do now Pop the strap away, close up the zip, job done. <laughs>